includes over 51 million in guaranteed money, nearly twice as much guaranteed money as any other defensive player has received at age 30 or older. Miller's going to turn 33 next week, but he hasn't shown any signs of slowing down, right? He posted a pass rush win rate of 42% during the Rams Super Bowl run. That's the highest mark by any player in a single postseason since 2017. Let's go, first of all, to Adam here. How did this all come together for Von Miller and the Bills? Well, ironically enough, I think the Rams had extra money because they were unable to re-sign Von Miller, who they wanted to bring back. And Buffalo <laughs> right. was lurking on the edges. And Buffalo had a little extra money because J.D. McKissick had committed to Buffalo verbally yeah. and then went back on that and went to Washington. Interesting. Right? So Buffalo was looking to make a splash with another pass rusher, was pursuing Von Miller. We mentioned on the show yesterday that Buffalo was interested in and trying to get a deal done with him. And lo and behold, later in the day, Von Miller announces mm. a six-year deal worth $120 million that includes $51 million mm. guaranteed. The Rams didn't get him, and so the Rams today then turn their attention to Allen Robinson. Von Miller goes to Buffalo, and he now is vying to become the second player in NFL history to win Super Bowls yeah. on three different teams. The yeah. only other player ever to do that was Matt Millen, and he didn't play on the Washington team that he was on that won a Super Bowl. He was with the 49ers and the Raiders when they won Super Bowls. Washington he didn't play, but he was on the roster, got a ring. Von Miller can make some history here yeah. by helping huh. Buffalo win a Super Bowl, help Denver win a Super Bowl, help L.A. win a Super Bowl, <laughs> and now we'll have a chance to help <laughs> Buffalo win a Super Bowl. And if you watch the way he played in the postseason Man. last year, at yeah. the end of the season, mm -hmm. he came on, he looked healthy, he looked effective. It's the yep. Von Miller effect potentially here, Dan. I mean, seriously, though, how big of a move is this for the Bills when you think about them being a legit Super Bowl contender? If I asked you the Buffalo Bills as a football team had one hole they had to fill this offseason, what would it be? They need an elite pass rusher. There Boom. you go. Not I only did him. they fill with, like, a, pa a guy who's won Super Bowl MVP. Yep. You know, this was the best defense in football last year. Outside of that stretch when they had against the New England Patriots and they had the ball ran, that was the best defense in football. And with, with the addition of Vaughn Miller, you're talking about a defensive line that you got an elite pass rusher opposite Jerry Hughes, yep. a longtime veteran, or an up-and-coming young player like a Greg Rousseau that they took in the first round last year. That allows that coverage to be so good. Tredavious White is coming back off of injury. The reality is the best defense in football from last year has gotten better. And that's a scary thing in the AFC. And as good as that conference is, I think that allows us to say that's the team that you got to go beat, considering how they can play on offense and be so explosive. Yeah. You get up 10-0, 14-0, it's like, hey, guys, go hunt. Well, here's what I know about football teams. You remember how you lose more than how you win. And when you lose a game, and part, and part of that game is you can't get to Patrick Mahomes late yeah. in the fourth quarter when your quarterback is playing absolutely out of his mind, you don't forget that. And maybe you give up a little more money because you understand how important that mm -hmm. position mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Here's point. what also happens. When you watch teams win Super Bowls and you're sitting at your house and you're not playing in them, right. you watch those games a little we more closely. Yeah. Right? You watch those games a little more closely and you say, man, you know, when Aaron Donald's getting doubled, look how Vaughn Miller's coming off that edge. Yeah. Or look how patient he is in his rush against Kyler Murray. You see all these things because it's, because it's the only game on TV and you aren't getting prepared to play another game sure. that week. And so Vaughn Miller got an opportunity to elevate his stock on the biggest stage and the Buffalo Bills were watching this saying you know what we ain't got one of those right. mm. now they go out and make that move and when you see the way that Josh Allen and that offense was playing saying, late like next that, season that brand all you can think to yourself it. is if we get a stop yeah. we can beat anybody yeah, yeah that was it I mean that's what it came down to key and, and key when you talk about the Bills you got to talk about the AFC championship right so let's just talk about the division or the the entire side of, of the league as a whole when you think about the AFC what does this move do for you it does a lot. You, you, you mentioned, Laura, that, that game in overtime against the Kansas City Chiefs. They didn't have anybody to go get Patrick Mahomes. He sat back there and put the baby to sleep anytime he wanted to and delivered the football <laughs> in seek and in rhythm. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.